Okay, hey guys, Josh here again. Um, I'm now showing you my upgraded version of the redstone safe locking mechanism thing, the bobby wobby. Um, as you can see, I upgraded it from stone to obsidian because it's harder to break. Numbered the levers because it makes it easier to work out the code for yourself. Obviously, rather the lever is still awkward. Um, so to begin with, we need to select our we need to make sure we get the right thingies out. Um, extend these all by four for now. Uh, I did try recording this just a minute ago, but uh, well not just a minute ago for you guys, but even so, I tried recording this earlier, but my family are knobs uh, and decided to disturb me. But let's carry on. Um, so, we have our basic thingies. Uh, for the traps to work, we need to extend these by six, these two. Uh, and then build your standard AND gate like I showed you in the previous video. So, three redstone torches, two on top, we're just in between. And then we extend this one all the way out to about there. Bring that one out like that. And one another AND gate. Two on top, redstone in the middle, and one on the side. And then just bring a piece of redstone out. Oops, so that it is in line with this block here. So it's one out from there. It just makes it all symmetrical for us later, which makes it a lot easier. So again over here, exactly the same process. On the bot on the side, two on the top, rest in between. Bring it out. It needs to come out like that. Bring this one out. I think that's even. Yep, that's even. I know this seems a bit fussy, but symmetry is quite important for redstone. It just makes everything so much easier. Okay, and then the last AND gate, like that. Two up on top, one on the side, and a piece there. Okay, I need to bring it out by one. Dig down. Dig down. Uh, and then one more. Dig down. And then pretty much wherever you feel like it, but I suggest here take it down by one more, but then bring it back up. Uh, this is useful later. Um, seeing where we're up outside, am. there we go, chum. Um, for when we uh, make it so we can disable the lock so our enemies can't get in, basically. Okay, plonk a torch on there, and then plonk that there, because this is your inverter, this is what keeps the door shut when the power, when the door is locked. Um, so currently now the door is, sorry, yes, um, one second, I'll split. now the door is open, if that inverter wasn't there, the power would run straight into there and turn the door off, um, so it would mean that when you have the combination on the door will be locked, which would be silly. Um, so this inverter just it does exactly what it says on the tin, and that's the power so that it's open when you put your combination in. Um, okay, so that's the basic mechanism fixed. So, if any of them are off, the door will shut. But we'll keep it open for now. Okay, so the next trick I'm going to show you uh, is how to set it... Oops, I fell down my own heart. Um, so that whenever someone hit, enters the wrong combination, uh, it will disable the lock and prevent them from getting in. So on each of your, or so on each alternate lever, uh, bring two blocks out like so, uh, and then jump on top and place repeaters. They have to be facing that way because the input comes in that way. You don't need any special ticks or anything. It's all simple. Um, and then bring and do two blocks up. Two blocks up, two blocks up, and we'll chuck a piece of redstone off each. So now, hopefully, when you flick a lever, that section will light up. It's not now, though. And then just join them up so that they all, so it'll all power up when any lever, oops, when any lever is on. Uh, and then just repeat it over this side. Oops, oh, that's right. Do -do -do. Okay. And then 
some redstone, and then just the last obsidian box, like so. Okay. Um, I think I've completely lost my train of thought now because I'm just amazing like that. Okay, yeah, so basically this last bit, this bit now, is up to you on how you do it. Uh, I'm just going to show you, hopefully, what I think is the best method. Um, it's a bit long winded, and actually, don't need to do it that way at all. Just bring it down like that. I need to bring the redstone across. Oops, do not want it to connect to that, that will ruin your whole circuitry. Then you need to put it down under here. And you need to find your little tunnel. Ah, see, I did that nearly perfect. Um, so basically, this is a really simple setup. Um, the redstone will come in here, I will hit the uh, piston, pushing that across, cutting off the signal, and shutting the door. Um, so hopefully now, if we flick any of these levers, we'll connect the other side up in a minute, the door will turn off. At the moment it won't though, because the signal is too weak. So, just shove, oops, that's not going to work there, or is it, yes it is, just shove a repeater there, you'll have a small delay, but it'll be fine, by the time they realise what's gone on, they'll be like, what, and the door will be shut, they'll also be dead, because laugh will be on their head, which I'll show you how to do in a minute, um, but to connect it up to the other side, quite simple, um, sort of. How did I do this last time? I've already done this once uh, <laughs> to practice, and um, now I can't remember what I had to do. Uh, I suppose you could just do it this way. Just extend the rest in exactly the same way, uh, and then just send it down. You will, of course, need a repeater, because the signal will be too weak. Any comments you, have, you guys have for me on improvements or whatever um, would be greatly appreciated. It just kind of helps me give you guys better videos, which is exactly what I want to do. Um, we're going to need to put a repeater down there, otherwise it's not going to stretch all that way. That's quite a distance for the power to travel. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, that's fine. So now, if we hit number two it will shut. And in fact it will stay shut because we haven't fixed this connection down here. Because I'm smart again. Like so. So now door is open. Okay, number five. Door is shut. Okay. Oh no, the number five is that. Number six doesn't do anything. Okay, give me a second guys. Signal's obviously too weak. Again. I hate repeaters, they're stupid. Okay, that should have shut the door. If it didn't, I'm going to be really cross with the door. Nope, it shut it. Okay, excellent. So, flick six back off. And the door opens. So, that is the main... Um, yeah, so that's how you prevent 
you know, that's how you disable the lock basically if they get it wrong. Which is really useful, as you can probably guess. Oh, we have stormy weather. I don't often see stormy in Minecraft, I'm not gonna lie. I'm sorry about the rain, I can't turn it off, obviously. Um, hopefully though, I shall turn it off later. And in fact, because otherwise this video is going to be too long, I will show you the lava in another in the next tutorial, which will hopefully be uploaded tomorrow. Uh, thank you for watching, guys. Um, like I said, please comment below if you think I should how what how you think I should improve. Um, and I'd really appreciate a like. I don't do many of these videos, um, and it doesn't take two seconds. Thank you very much, and uh, see you tomorrow. Bye, guys. Thank you.